Like this video or Majin Buu will turn your mom into an egg. If you're a teenager and you want to put on some muscle mass in the quickest way possible and then watch this entire video, I guarantee you it'll be worth your while. So I'm just playing these clips of my chest workout from the other day while I explain to you my tips for how to gain muscle the fastest way. So I first started taking lifting seriously after my 15th birthday and the reason for this is because my gym had a policy that only allows 15 year olds and up to work out alone. So here's a picture of me on my 15th birthday. I'm looking pretty skinny, pretty malnourished compared to where I am now, but you can put on so much mass in just your first year of lifting. So I'm going to show you how to do that and give you some tips on how to start right now. Now the first tip is you want to have long workouts. An hour to 30 minutes is optimal for me, I'd say. But when I first started, I was doing like 27 minutes, sometimes, you know, 30, less than 40. I was just not aware of how much time I should have been putting in the gym. And if you're someone like that, you need to look at what others are doing. You need to look at the men around you who have a little bit of size on them and, you know, try out some of the workouts that they're doing. See what they're doing. Ask them, you know, what's up or whatever. So that's something that I always did. I just looked and saw what others were doing. I was like, I'm going to try that out today. So um, other people in the gym will be happy to help you out on your form. Just ask them or whatever. But don't do half-assed workouts that don't even last long. You're not going to get results that way. And this is definitely something I wish I knew when I first started lifting. It would have been very beneficial to me. So I hope this helps you. Second thing is, is when you first start lifting, you need to be bulking basically. You need to be eating enough calories. You know, you want to get that extra fat and protein in you. You know, once you build up enough mass, then you can worry about aesthetics or whatever, if that's your goal, and then you can cut down. But until you have a good amount of muscle mass, aesthetics, in my opinion should not be your goal and i've been there you know i've done the aesthetics i've done the cardio gotten lean and you know i just didn't have enough muscle mass to where i thought does it really matter how lean i am so that's also something you need to take into consideration you need to be eating high protein uh meals you know junk fruit from time to time is good too you know to get the fat but for the most part you need to be getting um, all of your nutrients from just nutrient dense food and things like that all of your protein stuff like that calories from nutrient dense foods so that's definitely something I wish I knew when I first started lifting as well so I hope that helped you as well and lastly know why you're working out don't just go into the gym because you think it's fun or you think it's cool or whatever know your goals have something that you're heading for if you don't know where you're going then how are you gonna get there you know so just have a goal don't just be going into the gym for no reason half assed and just doing nothing to hang out know why you're in the gym be serious about you know putting on math and you have to really dedicate your mind into getting used to the gym because when i think back at just how much time i spend in the gym i think like wow this is the only reason i have these results so if you're not putting that time into the gym you really need to get your mind right and get your mind into the idea that this is something that you're going to be doing every day and spending time out of your day every single day to do and better your body to get the physique that you want. Those are definitely the three things I wish I knew when I first got into lifting. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe. Also, if you want to support the channel, I have a GoFundMe that you can donate to in the bio. Follow my Instagram and keep making those veg sets.